air conditioning and, hit and heating system in the coach. This has four roof air conditioners. Um, you, see, you can see that I've labeled this. Ideally, we don't want the guys to be doing anything but turning this on, off switch on. They want air conditioning, they turn it off or on. If you are having to do power management, that's why you have to turn off a circuit breaker for the individual AC system because they will say you're trying to run on the engine driven generator uh, they'll turn all four of them on and you won't have enough power to do it. Um, we don't want them messing with any of this stuff in here but what you should see the way they should be set for air conditioning is first the fan should be set to high the temperature should be set probably around 65 and pull this off fan okay fan high mode cool do not run them on heat pump if you want heat we'll use the propane furnaces so we're going to use these on on cool only fan doesn't do you any good either so cool we're going to set the temperature should probably be set somewhere around 65. There's there's no sense turning it down lower. It just makes some ice up. 65 is plenty cool. Uh, zone. The guy shouldn't mess with the zone. It should default to zone 1. This needs to be flashing zone 1. That means that's what you're operating. So right now this is set. Fan to high. 65 degrees. Mode for air conditioning. That tape should stay over that. People don't mess with it, that's where it should be set. You turn it off. When I turn it on, I get air conditioning to 65 degrees. Make sure that before you start the generator system or any AC load, that these are all turned off. You'll have to do a walkthrough and make sure that those are off. There's four individual thermostats. Uh, here's another one just like the one we went over. They are labeled. AC1 by the door, AC2, AC3, AC4. Uh, this is the heater. Turn it up, furnace kicks on. Turn it down, it's off. Those are forced air propane furnaces. They run on DC electricity. So if it is in the middle of the winter and we're trying to keep the bus warm and keep it from freezing, we have water lines and stuff inside, you will have to set this, you know, to, to maybe like 50 degrees. And you're going to need to be plugged into power when you do that because those fans are going to pull DC power. You cannot park this bus and leave this bus when it is below freezing without AC power. That means you either need to be plugged into the hotel and have good AC power or absolute worst case scenario you will have to run the Kubota diesel generator all night otherwise you will have frozen water and frozen water lines uh, number three number four on the back wall there are only two furnaces one discharge is here this is labeled the rear lounge the other one discharges here. It is labeled four bunk stack because it's in this four bunk stack section. Um, you will also want to, when it's cold, make sure that this bathroom door is open when you're parked at night. Uh, there is not a heater inside, so this door needs to be propped open so that the heat can get into this room and not freeze the water pump or the water lines. The water pump is turned on by a switch up above. Right here, water pump. You do not leave the bus parked at night with the water pump on. Uh, you'll always want to turn that off. If you spring a leak somewhere, it'll pump 100 gallons of water inside the bus and ruin stuff. Uh, the toilet, 